Hi Taurus. <clears throat> Today is Saturday, October 1st and it is 4:28 a.m. here in Texas. Let's do your reading and see what messages you have today. What your tarot cards say for today. Mm -hmm. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on. Taurus. Your first card is the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> We're going to go back and clarify the cards. This deck I'm using today is the Heaven and Earth deck. And then we have Justice, Libra Energy, and the Emperor Aries energy. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay, we have the Empress, Taurus energy. That's you. Six of Pentacles is in the center of your reading. And the Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands. The Sun, Leo energy. And we have the, the Nine of Pentacles here. Okay, so let's clarify, Taurus. Why is the Ace of Swords here, Spirits? You're walking away, moving into calmer water. Um, I'm seeing you leaving something behind and with the eight of cups, this is walking away from something. I'm seeing some type of truth here with the ace of swords, something that you realize. And so you're moving away from something that could be difficult to move away from here, Taurus, because there's still a lot of cups here standing in your energy. You could come back around later and revisit because there's still a lot of cups here, but we'll see. Why is justice here, spirits? We have the hermit. I feel like you may have just really done some soul searching, looked at facts, looked at the truth of the matter, and, um, realized why someone here could have refused your cup of love or ghosted you. Why is this four of cups here? Judgment. Making a judgment call on this. Making a decision. Okay, I need to walk away. Move into calmer water. And the next card we have showing up here is the emperor. Why is the emperor here? Two, I mean, the Two of Cups. Okay. The Five of Wands. And the World. The person you're having, um, this realization about is showing up as an emperor. So this could be a father um, for some of you. 
it's not for everybody but someone here and there's a huge conflict here with this love the five of wands is here so I'm feeling like the conflict is there's arguments here um, someone is trying to control a situation and so this chapter with this person is coming to an end but we'll see what happens this is more than likely a marriage because we have the Emperor and the Empress why is the Empress here death Scorpio energy Ten of Swords. This person has completely betrayed you. But I see, you know, there's... My neighbor's dog keeps barking tonight, you guys. Sorry, I don't know what he's barking about. But, um... This is... The cycle, the chapter with this person is definitely coming to an end. The Ten of Swords, this person betrayed you. That's an ending also. But you will have victory, success, and you're going to come out of this um, chapter much better and stronger than when you went into it with this person. You will have victory, success in your life, and I'm seeing material gain. Material success right here with the six of pentacles you see this card says material success on it in this deck so you just saw that devil on the bottom of the deck capricorn energy why is the six of pentacles here i feel like this person you were dealing with could have some addictions or um obsessive behavior why is the six of pentacles here the eight of wands the four of swords and the five of pentacles you may be worried about money Taurus someone here is worried about money and um they're wondering how am I going to move forward from this but um, I'm seeing that you will be very successful and your money's going to be okay. So, and your prayers will be answered. I'm seeing like praying hands here. If someone feels left out in the cold. They're feeling sadness, overwhelming sadness, ghosted. But, um, you have the eight of wands here so I'm feeling like someone here might literally be moving but something as far as your money goes it's going to move very swiftly it's time to take action why is the knight of pentacles here the king of cups the three of wands and the two of swords this person that you're dealing with, um, this person has love for you. They could be at a distance from you, but they're not showing their emotions. They're keeping their emotions to themselves. They're closed off right now in the present moment. And I feel like it's, it's difficult on this person to be like this towards you. It's taking strength. But they're closed off. They're standing back. And then we have the Queen of Wands. There's something to do. Someone may have a baby. There may be a baby involved. Why is... Queen of Wands here, Princess of Cups, Nine of Wands, Queen of Swords,
I feel like this person feels like there's some type of obligation with a third party. Even though this person is obligated, missing you, they're, um, they're feeling some type of an obligation here to someone that could possibly be an ex. And then we have the sun. But I'm seeing here, Taurus, that all will be revealed to you. The missing pieces are going to be shown to you. We have the lovers, the princess of wands, and the queen of pentacles. Yeah, what's going to be revealed to you here with the sun, the sun illuminates everything, is I'm seeing um, the lovers, which is a choice between two loves in this reading that I'm doing right now. We have the princess of wands and the queen of pentacles. So this third party energy that they're dealing with is showing up as... Um, The princess of, I feel like this is just a, a fling with this person. You're showing up here as being very stable, grounded, loving, giving, um, like a motherly energy to this person, maybe too giving to this person. And um, this third party is just showing up as like like I'm picking up like an angry person is what I'm getting here but someone who isn't in love with the person you're walking away from they're not in love with them it's like they're making this person feel an obligation here why is the nine of pentacles here the chariot but I'm seeing you finding your strength because this is very painful and the nine of pentacles is you becoming single independent confident and taking control this is cancer energy this is making a decision getting these sphinxes lined up straight and just getting out getting out of it Why is the chariot here? The eight of swords. The chariot is here. I'm seeing you taking control because you're sick and tired of feeling blindfolded like this, like your hands are tied and stuck in your mind. This is a self-imposed imprisonment of the mind that you're releasing and freeing yourself from, Taurus. Yeah, it's like a nightmare. The nine of swords. How did they betray me in, in this way? You would have never imagined this person would have done this. What does Taurus need to know? <clears throat> okay, so the advice that you have here, Taurus, is to drop the burden. These wands are not for you to carry on your back. <clears throat> sorry Taurus <clears throat> this is a 10 <clears throat> this is a 10 and so this is an ending to drop these burdens let it go and to move on princess of swords because I see here, I see you finding out information about this situation with the Princess of Swords that is really, really heartbreaking because of this third party coming into your, into your energy with this connection. Let me see what um, the Angel Answer cards say here. 
I'm picking up an energy of someone here who who needs to walk away and move on. Taurus, what does Taurus need to know? Worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life. <clears throat> and let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. <coughs> Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon, <clears throat> which it could very well be already for some of you. Okay, so let me get your Moonology cards for advice, Taurus. Advice for Taurus spirits. We have the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. And be bold and make the first move, cardinal moon. And one more. It's time to release negativity, full moon and Scorpio. And on the bottom of the deck you have emotions are running high, super moon. All right, Taurus, so these are the messages that spirits have for you today. I hope they help you to see the bigger picture. And um, let me just get a message from this person because I'm feeling like there's someone here that has ghosted you and whoever this reading's for and you're wondering, you know, what's going on here. What does this person wish to say to Taurus? So many things remind me of you. And it was my fault, but I blamed you. All right, Taurus, so um, these are the messages I have. I hope they help and um, help you to see the bigger picture of what is going on. And I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.